Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with yet another video of the Arizona Sports Fan. Thank you so very much for actually stopping by and watching this video today. Now today we actually got some breaking news, not from the Arizona Cardinals, but from Antonio Brown being released from the Los Angeles Raiders. Now, there's all these things that actually happened with Antonio Brown. Basically, it seems like he actually got into like an argument with Mac, uh, Mike Mayock, which was the actual general manager of the Raiders. He called him basically a slur name. He kicked the ball. He threatened to punch him and stuff like that. But um, everything seemed all well and fine that he was going to play on Monday. But it seems like everything has actually changed now. And I think Antonio Brown actually asked for his release um, from the actual Raiders. So here goes my Arizona Cardinal fans here. Do you guys think that Antonio Brown should be picked up from the um, Arizona Cardinals? What do you guys think about that? We're going to be talking about that once we come back, as well as the preview game against the actual Detroit Lions, guys. I'm so excited about this, guys. Game starting tomorrow. Let's go ahead and get it. So we're going to talk about Antonio Brown being released from the um, Oakland Raiders today. Now, we're going to make this short and sweet. I originally asked, do you think that Arizona Cardinals should be interested in picking up Antonio Brown? My answer to that question is I no. I got time for that. We do not want um, A.B. here. Um, I know he's a great player. Um, I don't know if he was a great player because of Ben Roethlisberger. Um, I, I really don't know. I mean, it's kind of up in the air right now, but what A.B. brings is a lot of drama, unfortunately. I, I know he's a person over being a football player. Um, I, I definitely see that, but, you know, I just don't want any of that negative attention to be put on the Arizona Cardinals. We have our own issues right now, um, and we're basically trying to, you know— uh, trying to basically make our name up from last year's debacle, which was really, really, really terrible. So we're just trying to basically do better. I don't think Antonio Brown's going to be the answer, guys. So my answer to that question is no. Um, I don't think that the Arizona Cardinals should consider getting him. It's just not in the books right now. Maybe in the cap as well because he's going to be pretty expensive. So yeah, I'm going to go with no on that one. So um, now we're going to talk about um, the actual game that's going to be happening tomorrow, guys. The day has come. The day has come when the regular season starts off tomorrow and we're actually going to see uh, K1 and K2 basically on a regular season game. Now, you guys already know my prediction as far as who I think is going to win this game. That's not what this video is going to basically be about. I'm going to talk about the three most important things that I want to see in this actual game. Um, in order to actually have success against the actual Lions. Now, I am aware that the Lions do have a great defensive line, and that's one thing that actually scares me a lot, is I need the Arizona Cardinals to basically protect Kyler Murray like they were uh, like he was their baby. Like, I need him to have time in the pocket, not get sacked, not get beat up very much. But unfortunately, with the news that actually came down that one of our um, starter um, o lineman actually went down in Marcus Gilbert. That's actually one of the most, you know, gut punch to the actual stomach. It, it's just it's just kind of a terrible news. I feel like every time this happens to the Arizona Cardinals, we have a veteran player um, that's not injury prone, but the moment he hits our roster, he basically starts falling apart and being brittle. Um, it, it might be just kind of what everybody says is, you know, Kaim really doesn't know how to pick you know, offensive lineman, he always kind of picks the old people. That might be the situation, but I mean, <sighs> let's just get into my top three things that I, I want to see this coming game. So my top three, my top three things that I want to see in this game against the actual Detroit Lions. Number one is I want to see Kyler Murray make a touchdown either by running or throwing an actual touchdown. This whole preseason, I feel like he's been, you know, kind of not doing very much like they all basically talked about doing the very bare minimum on offense because they didn't want to basically show their hand and uh, all that situation i just do hope that their offense is as great as they're actually you know summing it up to be and not basically be a huge flop like it was last year so that's my number one thing is i want kyler murray to actually score a touchdown either running into the end zone or actually passing it to one of our wide receivers 
Um, <clears throat> number two, I need our offensive line to actually hold up. Um, I don't want to see any injuries from DJ Humphreys. I want everybody to come out of this um, this game healthy. Um, now, I'm emphasizing on the actual O-linemen themselves specifically because we have um, Justin Pugh and DJ Humphreys and also um, Shipley, which um, they were all injured last year. So we had kind of a carousel of things actually happened last year with the whole offensive line, and I just need them to come out of this game healthy and and every everything's good. Right, number three so. things that I actually want to see um, th tomorrow's game is actually going to be on the defensive side. I need to see some aggressiveness in the defense. Uh, I want a stop run game to actually I want them to stop the run game the whole last year in our preseason everybody's been talking about how we are one big downfall um is going to be our, our stopping our run stopping the actual run so our run defense basically I need them to basically buck up I hope Hassan Radik actually plays so he can basically you know finally show up to see if he was worth that number one um round sorry that actual first round pick that we actually got from him um but I don't know those are the main three things that I actually want to see. Of course, I want to win. I want to see some exciting football that actually happens tomorrow, and I'm so excited about it, guys. There's there's nothing more exciting than the first game of the NFL season um, because it's just kind of a, a start of a beautiful season, to be honest with you. So well, hopefully everything comes out great. I am going to be having a reaction video tomorrow as well. So right after the game, maybe around six, you know, just depending on, you know, when I get home and, you know, if I'm sad or if I'm happy, depending on how the actual game happens. But I will have an actual reaction video to the actual game, guys. So just to recap, <clears throat> three top things I want to see. Kyler Murray basically uh, scoring a touchdown. I want my offensive line to basically come out healthy. And number three, I want the defense to basically stop the run. Guys, what do you guys think the most important thing is going to be this coming um, game tomorrow? Guys, I'm so stoked. Drop a comment. Drop a like. If you know any Cardinals fans out there that has not subscribed yet, make sure that they actually subscribe to the do channel. It. And uh, this is going to be Just your number one stop it. shop on YouTube for Arizona Cardinals news, guys. Let's go ahead and get it.